In traction control one, here we go. 20, here we go. Roll up. Oh yeah, thumb wheel. Holy mackerel, wow! The day is here. I've been wanting to ride one of these. A Suzuki GSX S 750. It's basically got the 750 Gixxer motor in it. Sport naked. Stay with me, you don't want to miss it. Let's get this thing fired up. Wow, I love that display. This got the 750 GSXR motor in it. Uh, man, I've been wanting to ride this. They had one up at Plano Kawasaki Suzuki. I believe it's got four levels of traction control on it. Gas gauge, uh, red lines at 11,500. The first thing I can tell you is you're sitting about straight up on it man huge thank you to plano kawasaki that allows me to do these first rides for y'all it's been a super super year i appreciate all the comments uh that everybody's leaving on all the videos man this thing sounds spunky oh yeah i love those front brakes i'm a 30 inch inseam and let's stop up here and see what that's like oh yeah back brakes excellent front brakes are perfect man i am a 30 inch inseam and half of each foot is on the ground oh, 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 oh. Woo -hoo -hoo -hoo. i hope y'all can hear that this thing sounds like a monster it's basically a gsxr 750 motor uh, I think they changed the cams in it. Uh, I believe this bike makes about 120 horsepower, 117, 119 horsepower. Man, I love those front brakes. The front and rear suspension is totally adjustable. This bike, I'm going to tell you what I think is so great about this bike there is basically no bike in this bike's class and i know you're going to say what but you tell me a 700 cc bike this is 700 and, i think it's 747 maybe 757 cc you leave a comment if you know the exact engine size but i believe that's it oh yeah <laughs> hey there's nothing in its class. There's not a 700cc sport naked that's got a hundred and let's just call it 115, 119 horsepower. There's not one. I've got the traction control on one there. I don't know if y'all could see that. I'm sitting almost, almost straight up on this bike. So this is a bike you could commute with very easily. Um, it does have a selector button, an adjustment. I would imagine one of those takes it to kilometers per hour. Uh, you've got your... Man, can y'all hear that? I mean, this motor is, is super responsive. Listen at that. But anyways, this thing is super comfortable all the controls on it and your uh switch gear is very very uh oh i want to say super acceptable but i mean the buttons over here your mode selector your traction control mode uh let's give this thing we'll give it a little twist up here it red lines at about 11,500 rpm i've heard uh that you could take this factory pipe off and flash it put like an acro can on it or an acro header or something like that or a uh, sc project and make another 10 horsepower with it pretty easy and 10 foot pounds of torque it's 89 newton meters of uh, torque and i want to say i'm sure somebody that knows this GS gsxr stuff a little bit better than me i want to say this is a 68 wheel horsepower wheel at the wheel uh 68 foot pounds of torque which for 750 is is pretty remarkable 
I can tell you just by sitting here that this bike is just purring. I mean, look at it. Let's hit this adjustment button. Oh, average, your range, mile per gallon. Average 24 miles a gallon. Let's see what select does here. Trip A, trip B. Okay, then we'll change the traction control. We'll hit select here. It'll light that line up, and you can go up. You can turn it all the way off if you want to, if you're wanting to risk risk the biscuit, as they say, or turn it to three, the most aggressive. Let's turn it on one. I tell you what, I always like to ride with a little computer enhancement, especially as, as crazy as this traffic is here in Dallas. But let's make the corner on this thing. This bike is actually the last one that... Holy mackerel. Oh, yeah. This ain't no playing around right here. This is about a 460-pound bike. And it's... Uh, I think it makes about 8 horsepower less than a GS GSXR 750, the sport bike. But this bike is... Uh, there's nothing... This is a serious bike right here real serious you can tell by the way it's revving we're in second gear oh man i wish y'all could hear the intake on this it is just sucking air just whoa but man really good riding pretty firm pretty firm uh it's pretty firm you can adjust your front and rear suspension it's totally adjustable and I'll show you those adjusters when I get off here in the parking lot up here. But, uh, man, it reminds me a lot of the GSX-1000 that they have. I've actually been considering buying one of those. You can buy a 2024 GSX-S-1000 for like 11.6. Brand new bike. Got the GSX-R-1000 motor in it. Make sure everything, yep, should be in perfect. Uh, getting everything in the viewfinder. Stay right there, truck. We're gonna make this corner and give it a little tap on the rear here. Uh, she really don't care about motor. Oh yeah, it's one to, that front wheel went up. That I'm sure the traction control went on. But uh, man. This is a fun bike. You're not going to believe how much this bike is. If you're watching the video right now, leave a comment on how much you think this bike should be. This bike is $8,600. It's brand new. Okay. Uh, it is brand new. It's a year old. Now, this is a 23 leftover. And if you buy this bike and mention this video, they'll give you an instant five hundred dollars off just tell them that you've seen the video and uh they may they may do a hundred better than that just uh they want to get rid of it. it's a brand new bike man i love those front brakes perfect perfect feel right there man this thing is just purring got a clock on it got your temperature control water control there I love the way that GSX is is like inlaid in there or whatever you call that. It looks good. High beams right there. You can look in the back of that uh, that tailgate right there. I'm hitting this button. Man, I tell you what, this bike here would be on par with like the Kawasaki uh, 1000 that I rode. Not the Ninja 1000, but the, uh, oh heck, I'll put a thumbnail up. You should be seeing it now. Oh yeah, this thing will go. This thing will go. Holy mackerel, man. This awesome machine right here, super nimble. It's got a 180 55 uh, Bridgestone S21 on the back and a Bridgestone uh, on the front. He's just coming from Plano Kawasaki Suzuki Aprilia. 
but uh, it's got some of the best rubber you can buy on a, or buy for a bike on this bike super sticky it's a 120 I think it's a 120 70 uh, 17 on the front take a look in this window and I'll show you my seating position there it is so yeah I'm leaning a little bit forward but look at that throttle response Woo! man I don't know that I've rode a bike that the throttle response is that good and I don't know why I don't really know what the secret is to it I do know that Suzuki's got this uh, this platform perfected because it's the same motor they've, they've got in their GSX-R 750 I do believe that the torque comes on a little bit earlier but I'm going to pull over up here and walk you around it and show it to you. Man, it's super responsive. And that neutral, watch this neutral. Click. Into neutral. Super, super simple. Kickstand levers right there. Man, easy down. Let's jump off of it. There we go. I've had both hips replaced, so sometimes when I pull my foot over that back, it's a little bit tough. But look at this bike, man. Look at this bad boy. I love that graphic right there. If it was me, I'd probably look online and see if I could get a blue graphic that would go right over that GSX and that Suzuki. But look at this lower spoiler or lower uh, fairing there. Look at that. Uh, let me make sure I'm getting it in the viewfinder. Look at that oil filter right there. Easy to change your oil. It's got two uh, Nissan calipers on it, four piston calipers. I believe the front rotors are 310 millimeter. But it's got your Bridgestone S21s on it. That's basically like a street legal race tire. If it was me, I'd probably cut that catalytic converter off, get rid of that back pipe. The header's probably really good. And it would pick up a little bit of noise and a whole lot of performance. You could flash this bike and pick up another 10 horsepower. But this is a 750. Man, look at this paint. I don't know if you can see that very good. It's got that black, like a black pearl with a sparkle in it. My wife would love that. She loves anything with glitter. But look at those blue uh, painted wheels good looking machine this bike does have abs look at the back tire on this thing led rear light make sure we got that in there look at how look how wide that back tire i can feel that that exhaust hit me right here anyways good looking bike man look at the display it's got a digital display right here your traction control you can go up and down let's turn it on off you can turn it all the way off one two three right there we'll put it back on one got your clock on it how many miles you've went your fuel gauge how many miles you got left to go this is actually a 23 model 2023 gsx s 750z with abs 9149 uh, it's $500 off instantly for uh, for uh, telling them about this video that you've seen it it is available it's the last one they got awesome awesome bike you could change that that bulb out to LED LED if you just had to have a hyper white light but look at this man adjustable lever right here your brake lever good good looking bike man thanks for riding with me make sure if you got something from this to hit that like button make sure you're subscribed next week i'm going to ride a moto guzzi uh ba -ba -ba -ba. can't remember the i want to say solario but it's not we're going to ride that one and we'll ride a used bike as well uh, we got a video coming up about financing motorcycles. Leave a comment if you want to know something about financing and what these banks and, 
and these manufacturers are doing on finance and what it takes credit scores the best way to buy one we're going to go through that with aj at the dealership she's the owner so she's going to tell you everything about it it'll be totally transparent thanks for riding with me i'm going to take this back and we'll see you on the next one